All right, guys, I'm going to show you a quick way to uh, get a guy in a fireman's carry. How many here have ever executed a fireman successfully on an unconscious casualty by yourself? By yourself. By yourself. Come on out. Ready? <laughs> What do you weigh, Will? 180. 180, that's it? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a good job. You're doing great, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's perfect. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he really gets into it. Stop, stop, stop. Everybody get See it? the point? Yeah. yeah. What's the point? It's hard. It's hard. Real dead weights. All right. Ain't nobody here going to the gym and grabbing 180 pounds of pudding with sticks in it, snatching it off the ground and putting it on the back. Because that's what you have when you have an unconscious casualty. 180 pounds, or whatever he weighs, of pudding with sticks in it, wrapped in hard ass plastic gear. Okay? So getting a casualty up isn't that easy, especially when they're unconscious, uncooperative, not working with you. I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that if you don't practice them, they're not going to magically come to you. Come on out here. How much do you weigh? So we got a casualty that weighs 165. Just take a step to your side so I never have to teach this again. Thank you. <laughs> I'm old, dude. I can't do this All right, so this guy weighs 165 pounds. I'm going to do this at speed and then we'll back it off, okay? This is a technique I learned when I was in the Ranger Battalion. I didn't magically come up with this, okay? And if you don't practice it, it's not a viable thing for you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Again. At some point, gotta work. <laughs> yeah, that's shit. I guess I overestimated. <laughs> Relax your body. You see, I can feel that guy getting stiff, okay? A real casualty isn't going to roll with me. He's just going to be dead weight. All right, he rolled with me. All right, he weighs 165 pounds. You can get him up like nothing, okay? It's just a combat roll across his body. Anybody here weigh 220? Come on down. <laughs> Come on, this guy outweighs me by 40 pounds. If you practice technique, oh, yeah. it doesn't <laughs> I get them organized. I've got them nice and stable. I've got my hips underneath my freaking shoulders. All I got to do now is post up here, stand up with them. Anybody's done a turkey skid up? It's real important Relax, to have everything in alignment. All your, you know, if you're off a little bit, it's an injury waiting to happen. Now I could probably move out 100 yards with this guy, keep up with the team, but what's going to happen after 100 yards? Muscle right, fatigue. Right, I'm going to get smoked. What's the advantage of this? It's quick. It's quick. What else? You're maximizing guns in the fight, right? Yeah. Maximizing security. But now I'm smoked. Guess what? Come on out here. Go back to back with me. Let me know when you have the weight. He's got the weight. Somebody else <laughs> trade up. Did he just shit himself? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Set him down. So here's how you do this slow. <laughs> give, me, give me somebody that weighs about. Why don't you come out here? Yeah. That's enough incentive. Okay. So I'm going to do this lefty just so everybody can see and I can play to the video. But you can do this from a standing, a kneeling, or a lying position. If the situation dictates that I need to low crawl up to this guy or whatever, then I can. And all I do is turn my body to his. I get my hips off the ground, I rest my back on his chest or on his gear. Can you breathe? Yeah. I don't care. Why? <laughs> it's, not a priority. it's not a priority right now. Moving him is a priority. All I'm going to do is reach back, grab this leg. I grab high on the cargo pocket. And I grab whatever material is there. Why? Leverage. I'm going to be dragging it with me. I'm bringing this thigh over my shoulder. And I'm throwing a pitch in that direction. So I throw a pitch. Hip and elbow stay down. Hip and elbow stay down. Do not roll over to your face. All right? If you're flat like this, you're not going to get them up. So you got to keep your hips under you so that when you transition, It's a quick little stand-up, okay? Easy day. Don't leave anything behind. All right? Come on out.
<laughs> right here. From the kneeling position, here's what it looks like. My knee goes next to his hip. I scissor him. All right. This arm loops through his thigh. I grab a hold of that thigh, whatever I can grab, okay? I put my ear on his opposite hip, roll through. Nice and slow. Relax your body. All right. Okay. And then the last one. <laughs> Getting in my fucking workout for the day. <laughs> and then the last one. I want you to be 100% unconscious. Remember that game I was playing in the beginning? I want you to do that. Nice and easy. You come in. Secure that arm. It's got some stuff here. Uh, <laughs> if you do this shit and it's caught on video, you'll be a YouTube sensation. <laughs> That's probably where so, this is going. A lot of you editing. can do this with gear, without gear. The problem is, is this crawl, walk, run. You gotta be really good at the crawl part before you can walk, and you better be a damn Olympic walker before you run. Okay. You can do it with your weapon, helmet, body armor. The only limiting factor really is like a rucksack or something like that. Are there any questions? Everybody feel confident they can do this? You're not gonna do All right, it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> so many injuries. So many LODs. Yeah. Don't fuck yourself up. On your back. Got a thousand hits right there. I felt. It's the tactical nut nut drag. <laughs> <laughs> Grab on my testes. Only, only Navy SEALs can do that. <laughs> Grab on my nuts, I'm a SEAL! <laughs> I'm like, grab onto his nuts, he's a SEAL! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.